What's up guys, it's the T-Ball and I am back with another video before I start. If you guys will leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, your support is greatly appreciated as we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you're not subbed, be sure to hit that sub button and turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So today, we're going to be going over Andre Iguodala and the chance that he may leave the Warriors for the Minnesota Timberwolves. We're going to break down his fit and the effects and consequences if he does in fact leave the Warriors. So for a quick background, there have been reports that Andre Iguodala would like to test free agency this summer and with the Wolves rumored to be very interested in him. And it has been reported that it may be possible that it, that the Wolves may give Iguodala 18 to 20 million over two to three years, which is, in my opinion, a bit of an overpay for a player Iguodala's age. I want to say Iggy is around 33 years old. Double check me on that. And with a guy who's already at 33, he's going to start declining really soon. If Well, he's technically declined a little bit already, but it's going to get even worse once he hits around age 35, 36. But still, Iguodala is very effective as he was with the Warriors during the regular season and during their playoff run. And he has done quite a bit with them in general. He got the finals MVP, he won two championships, and he got to the finals the other time. So he definitely has a, a very nice resume for him. So that's going for him. So we're going to take a look at how he would fit with the Wolves. So in my opinion, Iguodala would be a great fit. With Zach Levine injured and returning early next year, I want to say in January or February, Iguodala would fill in the spot at shooting guard or... Uh, Andrew Wiggins can slide at shooting guard and Iguodala can just uh, play small forward. He would provide tremendous defense, decent shooting, and great ball movement in the starting unit. And say Levine comes back and takes his starting spot eventually, Iguodala can just slide back to the bench and play with guys like Chris Dunn, uh, Balika, Cole Aldridge, and other players as well. Also, Iguodala would provide great leadership for the young wolves he would be able to teach them how winners play and teach them about how to have a winning culture Iguodala would overall be a great fit with him and tom thibodeau and he would help further develop the young guys mentality on the team so how would this affect the warriors would they be screwed absolutely not hell no they would not the warriors will still have most likely have their entire Core intact, meaning they're probably going to re-sign Kevin Durant, Steph Curry. They're going to have Clay Thompson, Green, and hopefully they can you know re-sign Livingston. But I'm not sure about that. It really depends on how their whole cap situation is set up. But while losing Iguodala would definitely hurt their bench tremendously, they would still be able to find a way to sign free agents at the minimum contract at around like one point you know eight million because. These guys or the guys that they would be able to sign are looking for a way to win a championship. And what better way to get a free championship than signing with the Warriors? So that's a wrap. Thanks for watching this quick little video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Be sure to leave your comments down below on what you think about Igudala. Do you think he's going to leave the Warriors? Do you think he's going to go to the Wolves? the Hawks, you know, some other team, or do you think he's going to stay in Golden State? I definitely think it's very possible he stays with the Warriors on like a 10 to $12 million, million dollar deal. But if the Wolves offer him, say, around 18 to $20 million over three guaranteed years, it's definitely going to be very hard for him to pass up. So once again, thanks for watching, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as I said before, and I will see you guys soon for my next video. So I uh, hope you guys all have a great one. Peace.